for a long time and I think that it's time that I kind of transition back into this film edit and post routine because I really want to do better this next coming school year about vlogging and posting and just being present on YouTube and I just miss it so anyways it is June 28th today and I am in beautiful Prescott Arizona you guys probably can tell by the background here because it's just so beautiful here. Um, but anyways, we, uh, we've had a really fun summer. I'll just kind of catch you guys up really quick. By the way, this vlog is gonna kind of encase like this whole week of summer break that we're here in Prescott. I'm gonna try to film and get as many clips as I can of our little vacation here. But so it's it might be a little bit of a long one. So if you guys are here for the long haul, grab a snack, find a cozy place to sit and um, and buckle up and we'll enjoy this vlog together. And if you guys don't watch the whole thing, that's fine too. Um, I'm just glad that you stopped by. This summer has been a complete blast and probably one of my best summer vacations in a long time. So we actually started off our summer by going camping up in Williams, Arizona, which is a beautiful place. If you're from Arizona, you probably know about Williams. And if you're not from Arizona, Williams is near the Grand Canyon. summer by camping up in Williams and then a couple of weeks later we uh, we just went to Disneyland for the, a few days with my parents
perfect. The weather was great. It wasn't super crowded. Um, and I did get to see my friend Darren. If you guys are following Darren Nakakihara, you know um, how much I love him dearly. Um, and now Cash and I are up here in Prescott for the week. It is a perfect week to be here because it's rodeo week. We're gonna go see the rodeo. We're gonna go to the rodeo dance. We're gonna do the boot race. We're gonna watch the 4th of July parade. And then uh, we will head home right before the 4th of July so that we can be home with our friends and our neighbors. Um, and so, yeah, so today we are starting off our Prescott trip with some swimming lessons. So Cash is gonna be turning five in November. And it is time that he start learning how to swim without the little wings. Um, you know, we've got a lot of friends that have pools, um, family members that have pools, and it's time for him to learn how to swim without any floaties. He needs to be able to, you know, feel confident in the pool, be able to, you know, stay afloat long enough for someone to notice. Um, obviously when he goes swimming, we're watching, but it is time for him to learn how to swim independently. So. Today we are, that's kind of where we're on our way now. We're on our way to the YMCA in Prescott, which is actually where my nephew learned to swim. I used to work out there. I used to swim there growing up. Um, and so it's kind of like a nostalgic place. But anyway, we're on our way now for Cash's second swim lesson. After that, I need to go and do a little bit of self-care. I need to go get, well, I don't need to. I'm going to go get my nails done. These need to be filled. My toenails are just a disgrace and then after that I'm actually going to see my wonderful friend and hairdresser Shelby who's done my hair for years since I was about 19 years old she's been my hairdresser um, speaking of hair as you can kind of see it's brown um, so at the end of May I went to a salon in Queen Creek <clears throat> which is where I live um, and I've been there before just for some highlights and touch-ups in between when I could see Shelby. And I asked her, so you guys saw my hair before. I had like dirty blonde roots with, you know, platinum highlights and ends. So I went in asking for her to pull down my natural hair color a little bit more so that I wouldn't have to go in as often, thinking it would probably be close to like, a, you know, a nice balayage. She would uh, low light me whatever and I ended up turning brown so I I tried to um you know let it fade and be understanding that maybe it, she had done it so that it would fade out and it just hasn't my hair is still brown so um I tried to you know buy some hair extensions some really cheap ones just to kind of like you know see do I like this color can I live with it I just don't like it it just is me um it, it's nothing to do with like the color. It just, it doesn't fit me. When I look in the mirror, I'm like, oh, I don't, I just, I don't recognize myself. I really don't like it. It just isn't my personality. I just, I don't like it. So I'm going to go see if Shelby can fix it. Um, it might end up being a little bit shorter, which right now it's about here, but it's so thin because I have hated it so much that I just wear it up in a bun as much as I can. And I know I'm ruining my hair. So once she fixes my hair, if she has to cut some of it off, that's fine. I'm not going to wear my hair up in a bun anymore. I'm going to really commit to like wearing clips in it or like, you know, putting it up in other ways. But I really, really want to like focus on growing my hair out healthy because it's so thin and fine. So that is what's on the agenda today. So I'm going to take you guys with me and hopefully we can get my hair back to you know, somewhat normal.
So here are my nails after they were painted before with like polka dots and Disney. I feel like I'm very simple when it comes to my nails because I don't want to commit to like one color and then it not match what I wear. I don't know. I've always kind of been that way. I used to do my nails exactly like this when I used to work as a princess party performer. Um, very simple and very like, I don't know, feminine, I guess. So anyway, here are my nails. All right, so it is now time to head over to my hair appointment. So I just pulled my hair out of the clip to kind of show you guys what it's looking like right now. Um, it's very, I don't know, the color is just weird. It's not brown, it's not blonde. It's just kind of this like weird, mousy, like in-between kind of color. This is the length and it's very thin. Um, and I think that's probably, well, I don't think, I know it's my fault because I wear my hair up in a bun a lot. And especially in the last month and a half because I've hated my hair and just wearing it up in a bun makes it look not so bad. So hopefully Shelby can do some magic and make it look great. <laughs> I'm doing a before and after. done it looks so good it's such a difference like I think this is what I was looking for originally when I told the other hairstylist and um, she completely butchered it so Shelby fixed it Shelby has always been like so reliable when it comes to hair and she's such a good friend and anyway I'm very pleased with the way it looks and she did trim it a little bit because it, it really did need a little bit of a trim it was looking very tragic so I love it I think it turned out really really good here's the roots um, and then she did a little bit of a blunt cut so that when I don't curl it um, it'll look a little bit thicker so I'm super super happy with it so now I'm gonna go meet up with my sister and I'm gonna do something a little bit crazy and I will show you guys when I get there Okay, so I'm here, and you can't see where it is. It's this little place right here. It's called Electric Tattoo. <laughs> I'm not getting a tattoo, though. I'm getting my nose pierced. I've been wanting to get my nose pierced for forever, and I'm finally doing it. My sister's actually supposed to be meeting me here. I think she's going to be a little bit late, but... Um, anyway, I'm going to be getting a nose piercing and I'm just going to get like the little hoop. Um, I guess is what it's called. Not a stud. I'm hoping to get a loop, hoop, loop, maybe ring. I don't know, but I'm scared, but I'm excited. So I'm going to go, I'm going to do that. And when I see you next, I'm probably going to have a nose ring. Look, I'm a big girl now. It's all red. <laughs> yeah, it's bloody. Yeah, you might see lightning. There you go. Right in there. 
That rain's coming. Yeah, you look right there where the rain's falling. You gotta watch for a few minutes because it doesn't happen every second. That's a thunderhead storm. Hello my friends. So it is now Friday morning. I didn't vlog much yesterday. I'm trying to remember what we even did yesterday. Uh, went to swimming lessons and then we, I worked out the gym with my sister and then we came home and just kind of hung out at the house for a while. Scott came up early. We watched a movie and then we went over to my friend Shelby's house, the girl who does my hair, uh, for dinner. Scott and I went over for dinner and it was super fun it was nice to just catch up with her and now i'm on my way to the local starbucks to meet up with jennifer if you guys have watched me for forever or if you frequent the teacher youtuber circuit um jennifer from genuine teaching lives up here in the prescott area um we i taught with her years ago up here um and I'm getting to see her today, and I'm so excited. Look who's here. Hi, guys. <laughs> um, so it's Friday evening, and we're heading out to dinner. We're going to go to one of my favorite places in Prescott, El Gato, which is a place that I took Darren and Shelly and Marie and Vanessa and Jessica, and we had our little camp teacher tuber a few summers ago. We all went there for dinner. Um, and then we're going to be heading to the Prescott... Um, oldest, world's oldest rodeo. So I'll get some uh, clips of that. And then Scott and I are gonna go to a rodeo dance tonight. Yeah. We're gonna go on a date. We're not gonna dance, but we're gonna go on a rodeo. We are gonna dance. Oh. We're gonna dance a little bit. Just a couple times. And... <laughs> Hey, hey, Only in Prescott. <gasps> There's Rodeo Queen. Mm. You want to ride a horse?
guys, so it is now Sunday at 12.30 and we are on our way back down to the valley. Cash, did you have a fun time at Nana's? Yes. So it's kind of funny, um, Scott is actually in front of us. He got here a few days ago and we all went to the parade together. We went to the rodeo, which was a blast. I will have to insert some clips or hopefully I already entered, entered some clips. Um, and so Scott is actually driving ahead of us. My parents are gonna be like a half hour behind us because they're driving, they are coming down for a few days so that my mom can actually come into the classroom with me. We're gonna go in on Monday and Wednesday um, and do a little bit of organization. We're gonna hang some walls um, and just, she really likes to help me get my classroom set up. So we're gonna do a couple of little things in there while she's down here. And then um, my dad will actually hang out with Cash while we're working in there. So I'm very excited. And tomorrow's the 4th of July. So they get to be here with us for the 4th of July as well. So um, that is the end of this vlog. And pretty much this is like my last hurrah for the summer because after tomorrow, I am back in full blown school mode. It's, you know, I'll start working a few hours in my classroom every day. I'll start working a few hours in the office every day. Um, and then next week on Wednesday is when we report back, contracted report back time. So I hope you guys are ready for some back to school vlogs, some planning vlogs, classroom setup vlogs. You guys know that July is kind of like my, my crunch time. I like to post a lot in July. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope you are enjoying your summer um, and if you're in Arizona whatever is left of your summer I hope you enjoy it um, because mine is coming to a close so anyway um, guys don't forget to follow me on Instagram at apples and tiaras I will probably do some stories there um, in the next few days as I kind of like start preparing to go back into the classroom and I will probably do um, lunchtime lives again because um, during my lunches, I might start doing some lunchtime lives again on my Instagram. So make sure you're following me there just in case I decide to do that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.